everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can set up epson eco tank 82840 printer to your computer wirelessly so if this is a brand new printer you can follow the installation guide that came with the printer like you can do the initial setup uh, install the ink uh, and load the paper and uh, power on your printer so this is uh, the installation guide that came with the printer so you can follow the instruction on this uh, instruction guide so uh, after initially setting up your printer you can go to the computer to set up your uh, printer on your computer to do that you need to visit epson.com because we need the driver for your printer so um, you have to go to the epson.com and this the page will uh, open so this is the epson.com website you need to click on the support tab right here when you click the support tab you can see all the different devices you have to pick printer as we are setting up the printer so here you have to enter the name of your product in our case it's simply you can type et uh, 2840 so that's the printer we have and uh, this is the printer right you can see that here you can click on the download tabs here and now we need to choose the operating system in our case it's windows 10 but if you have windows 11 that's the latest operating system and or if you have mac operating system you can scroll down and find your operating system in my case it's windows 10 so i'm going to pick that one and click go so it will uh, show up the driver uh, for my computer for my uh, you know operating system so i'm going to click uh, this is the driver so you can see the driver and utilities combo package so it has all the required driver including the scanning software printing software or any troubleshooting or any kinds of instruction if you need with the printer so it will all be downloaded in this package so i'll just simply click on download it will be downloaded at the top right corner in my browser that's where you can see uh, even if you have any other browser most of the browser have the download icon at the top right corner so you need to double click on it to start the setup of your printer okay so this is how it's done and if you have any question you can simply type it in the comment box and i will reply it there thank you so much